So I decided to make a video where I show how I clean off my stamper heads, scrapers, stamping plates, nail art brushes, dotting tools, things like that. Um, I'm going to start off by cleaning off these stamper heads and they're actually detachable. See, And I've read many places that you're not supposed to use, or should I say I've watched many videos on how to do this. And it says that you're not supposed to use nail polish remover to clean the actual stamper head off because it can apparently damage the whatever this is made out of. And you're supposed to use either tape or a lint roller. So that's what I like to do when I'm cleaning them is I just go through and I take the lint roller or tape and I just wipe all of them off. And then what I do is, hold on, is I put them in usually the sink with some hot soapy water, but this is just a bowl of it. And I just put these in here just to clean them. And I don't know what else this does. I think it's supposed to prime them. Oops, forgot one. And once I get these scraper thingies cleaned off, I'm going to do the same in there as well. So all I do to clean off these little scrapers is I just take a cotton ball with nail polish remover on it. You probably could use acetone if you wanted to. But I just use nail polish remover and I just go along each of the scrapers, get all of the polish off of them because when you do this on both a scraper, stamper, and stamping plate, when you go to stamp, your images transfer a lot better than if you were to just let them gunk up. And I don't clean my stamping stuff that often because I'm just lazy with that, but I do go in once every few weeks or once every week and clean everything off. And one thing that I will say about this is don't do this when you have nail polish on, but um, I, I'm always more comfortable doing it when I have a solid glitter polish on, but I honestly would not do this if you have nail, nail polish on, just because it can remove your nail polish. And I just do this with all of the scrapers, removing as much of the polish as possible. This is the last scraper I have to clean. And I, it's not gonna, the staining on the scraper, or should I say the cloudiness, is not gonna go away. I've tried, but I just, I clean them off as best I can, and then I just put them in the hot soapy water. So this is how I clean this, the stamp, or the stamping plates. Um, I already, I already cleaned all of the other ones, so I'm just gonna show this one. All you basically do is the same thing as a scraper, but some stamping plates take elbow grease because of how detailed a design might be. But these plates are usually very easy to clean. And there are some stamping plates out there that you're not supposed to use, I think it's direct acetone on, I'm not sure though. But I just go through all the stamping plates in my collection and I pull out the ones that I need to clean. So this is how I'm, I clean all of my dotting tools and my cleanup brushes, plus my tweezers. So, hold on. So I usually just take a dotting tool and a cotton ball with nail polish remover on it. And I just do this to all of the dotting tools. Okay, so for the last dotting tool or brush, I just take it and I dip it in some nail polish remover. Let it sit in there for a few seconds. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. And then I take a cute cotton ball again and I just keep doing this until all the nail polish comes off. Once, once I get the nail polish off, I dip it in some water and I just found out, hold on, just found out that you're supposed to dip your brushes in cuticle oil 
to maintain them and keep them really, really soft. So that's how I clean the brushes. For all my cleanup brushes, I do the exact same process. So all of the nail art tools are clean. When it comes to the stampers, they're still sitting in the water. All I do is I take them out and I set them on a piece of paper towel. I let them dry and then I just put them back onto their, um, these things. And that's how I clean all my stuff off. So.